In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a squash and stretch effect with this square. I'm going to go to the rectangle tool. The color is going to be white. Uh, no stroke. I'm going to hold down shift and just make you know, a square like that. Um, I want to move the anchor point to the top center. So I'm going to press Y. I'm going to turn on the snapping tool if you don't already have it on. Grab this little thing, put to the top center, turn off the snapping tool. Now I'm going to set the movement of the of the uh, the square. I'm going to press P for position. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to separate dimensions. And we're just going to manipulate the Y. So set a keyframe, frame zero, and then go ahead 10 by holding shift, command, right arrow. Go down a little bit, right there. And then we're gonna go forward three more. So hold command, right arrow, one, two, three. Put another keyframe right there. Then we're going to go ahead 10 frames, hold shift, command, right arrow, copy the first one, and then command V to paste. Press N to make the viewer, the work area smaller, and then preview it by either pressing spacebar or control zero. You can see that it's a linear movement that's not what we want. We got to make it better. So we do this by selecting all of the keyframes and then pressing F9. That easy eases it. We're going to manipulate it more. Let's just preview it now. So we have an easy ease, standard easy ease. We need to manipulate it. So open up this graph editor. I want you to note that there's different graph editors. There's the speed editor that looks like this, and there's a value editor. We're going to be working with the value editor, but we're only gonna be doing it on the Y. So click off of it and click the Y. Let's zoom in a little bit. I, just, I hold Alt and then uh, put the two fingers on the trackpad. This is the movement of it. Um, many hours of playing around with it, you'll get the movement, but this is the shape that we want to create. So grab that, pull it, click on this one, pull it down. Grab that one, pull it down like that. And pull this one, so it almost looks like a tabletop. So what it does, if we preview it, it's going to go fast, so slow, fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, almost like it's falling. Now we need to add the squash and the stretch. We got the movement down though. Congratulations. Okay, let's go out of it. We're going to create our squashing rig, basically. So go to the uh, the point where it hits the ground and we need to add another controller at the base of the square so let's go to layer new uh, null object put on snapping and let's move this null object to the bottom of the square and we're going to name this uh, squash control controller Squash controller, and then we're gonna well, we'll name this uh, square, and we're gonna parent the square to the squash controller, and you will see why this works later. But first, we're gonna do uh, the stretch of the square. So you're gonna open up the scale. You're gonna unlink it. I don't know if you have to unlink it, but we're gonna unlink it. And then you're gonna write a little expression. So hold down Alt, press the 
stopwatch and follow me here so we're gonna get the pick whip well we're gonna say x equals get the pick whip to the 100 right there we're gonna do plus parentheses go inside the parentheses and do a hundred minus and, uh, and then pick up the the other hundred and then um, we're gonna times the whole thing by 0.3 semicolon so it's your x y equals and then just pick with the, the hundred semicolon and then left bracket x comma y right bracket and click away from it and what that does if i manipulate if i control the y um, it kind of stretches it like that <clears throat> so our expression made it possible for this for this dynamic movement like this just let's set it at 100 for now <clears throat> Let's go to right here, <clears throat> excuse me, and we need to set the controller on the squash controller. So it's going to be the same as this one, but instead of the 0 0.3, we're going to do 1.8. So open up the expression, I'm just going to copy this, paste it. And then we're going to change it to 1.8. We'll see if that works. So what that does is, boom, there's our there's a squash. All right, now let's set the movements for it. So let's go to the beginning and let's set a keyframe for the scale. Let's press U to open up all of it. And then when we get to the keyframe right before it hits the ground, we want to stretch it all the way to the ground, which is basically the top of our null. And then once we hit the ground, we just want to add 100%. And then go up three keyframes and just same thing. Um, and now we're going to set the squash. So go to your scale on here, go to that keyframe right there, that time spot, hit the scale, and then go up a frame and we're going to move it kind of down like that because it just hit the ground, it's squashing, and then we're going to give it some time just to, we're going to go forward. Squash it a little bit more so it's kind of feeling that tension. Go another keyframe and then we're going to set it back to 100. Um, so right now we have, you know, it, it's doing a little stretch, 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 big time stretch, and then boom, hits the ground, kind of feels the tension, and then it's going to release, but it needs to stretch. So we're going to go back to the, uh, the square and we're going to manipulate the, the, the scale on the second number all the way to there again. And then we're going to go to the end frame and we're going to set this back to 100. As you can see, if we preview this, it's almost there, but the movements aren't there. So we have to open up the graph vector again. So we're going to start with the top one. We're going to pick these two keyframes, one right there and hold shift and one right there. And then you're going to press F9 and then open up the graph editor and make sure you're on the value editor. We're going to highlight this one and we're going to press this button right here. Convert selected keyframes to auto bezier or bezier, bezier I think. Um, and then don't move where they are, but just kind of pull the handles and make this shape like that. Click out of it. And then we're going to select all of these keyframes. 
F9 it, open up the graph editor. Again, you have to be on the value editor for this one. Highlight the bottom one. Sometimes you have to manipulate that one. Then the handle that we need to like push that all the way there. Grab this handle, bring it down like that. Grab or press that keyframe. Pull the handle down. And then move this one. Oh, we didn't get it, so we have to do that right there. And um, let's just preview it. So we're getting closer, right? Cool. I think we can just move the bottom scale kind of a little bit there. Uh, let's grab this. Let's see. So, yeah, but that's basically it. Squash and stretch rig. If you want, you can go around and play around with the, the graph editor to fix the movement. But I think that's basically it. Squash and stretch.